Okay, real quick, I just wanted to do a quick video for someone uh, talking about manipulating curves, uh, particularly using the alt function when dragging a control point. So let me build a curve here. I'm just going to borrow one. I'm going to do shift D on here and I'm going to drag them out. Okay, so as you can see, we got two control points here, but right off the gate, whenever you uh, duplicate something, it doesn't always uh, behave the way it should. So what you have to usually do when I reselect them is rebuild it. Just click rebuild. The default's good. Okay, and now we should be able to manipulate the control points. So I'm going to control Z that. But the thing that is uh, really cool about this is if I click and drag this and hold down alt it moves the whole chain but locks that endpoint over here this way you know it's almost like a proportional editing you know inside blender if you want to think of it that way now if I hold control I can start snapping to things I can start snapping to say like the middle of this or just to any edge on my surface of the car here but pretty cool little way to uh, manipulate your curve and then of course you've also got the new extend curve function that you can use and you can decrease it increase it and it'll just follow the curvature the existing curvature so uh, pretty cool um, little thing that you can do with curves it'll help you on building your surfaces and connecting points to each other so remember just hold down your alt and then hold your control down at the same time and then you can start snapping onto things so that's just a quick overview of manipulating curves